Whew. Okay, this is a mess. I didn't get a chance to deal with it. Basically, these are all the boxes that I save and I do use, you know, these boxes. I reuse them to do shipping. Um, I do have a random bin or box back here. Oh, there it is. It's like that pink bin. You can see a pair of jeans sticking out. That is stuff that my son no longer wears. I want to do like a whatnot show of just like his clothes from when he was like four and five. So be on the lookout for that. This is a bin of shoes that need to get photographed and listed. These I believe are all bottoms that need to get listed. These three bins right here. And then this rack is stuff that is uh, steamed and ready to go. They just need to be photographed. Um, so I keep all that stuff right next to my big photo box. I will be doing a video soon on how I photograph things. Um, and just in case you were wondering, I love this thing. <laughs> it has changed my life. That's why honestly, I don't need the little photo box anymore. Um, I'm able to photograph everything in here from like gowns to bags to shoes to whatever. These two pairs of shoes need to get listed. And this little rug in front of it is just from Ikea. Um, I have this situation this rack actually they just left it here they left it in this basement and it had a bunch of like electronics on it so some of the stuff that you saw in that closet in the spare bedroom in the basement some of that stuff was stuff that was just left behind i believe there was like a dvd player left behind there was like some sort of speaker or something but i just basically am using this for a bunch of random things so let's start at the bottom on the bottom here is like my hard goods which you can see i don't have a lot of i guess it's like the bottom two rows um but they have little letters on them as well so i have some books i have some toys things like that and that's where they live i have a little trash can to get rid of things like price tags and whatnot while i'm photographing in my light box um this is where i will migrate all of the inventory bags that i use over to um, so, you know, something that was in this bag sold, I save this and the next time I photograph something, I will put it in this bag. Um, but I put all of my empty bags here so that when I photograph them, they're close by and the bags underneath is what I use for shoes. Um, this is another invent. Actually, no, this is stuff that needs to get listed. There's like ties and I should move this box. I should actually take the things out of here and put them in either you know the box the bin that's hiding back here or i have a bin of things hiding underneath this table too this is new garbage from what was on this table but um yeah i need to get everything out of here because when it's in here i think that it's already listed and it's not this is a bin of stuff that i use for shoes um so there's like shoe trees there's like the Doc Martens shoe polish. There's also the Wonder Balls them in here. Um, so anything that I need to kind of fix shoes up. I have like some baby wipes back there. Um, let's see. This is a paper cutter for my scrapbooking or like, you know, planner stuff. This is mainly a bin of stuff that I need for when I do that pop-up consignment sale. It's like the little tags and stuff as you can see. Let me see if I can get them out. This is what I have to fill out. So I'll print out a bunch of them and then I usually have too many. So I just save them in here. This is a Gucci bag that still hasn't sold. Um, and then this is just like random stuff. I think my GoPro supplies are in that Aritzia bag. Like extra tape, my sweater shaver. I don't know. Random stuff lives here. And then finally up there I have, this is like some shipping stuff. I don't know what's in that box. I don't know. I don't, oh, this is like hardware for something. I don't know what, maybe my shelving. And that is like, if I want different color backdrops in here, which I don't, I just want white. That is my shipping space. And then I guess I should show you this mess over here. So this is like the backside of all of my inventory. And I don't know, this is just where things go when they're waiting for me to deal with them. This is random bags and accessories. This is stuff that I got from a friend that I just need to go through and see what I can list and see what things I need to consign. This is um, like mainly hard goods, but there's shoes and stuff in there too. There's some bags, stuff that I got from a reseller buyout that I just haven't dealt with yet. Um, same with that little pink bin thing there's like stuff in there that i just need to deal with this is a random rack with some 
hangers on it. And this is random stuff that I either have for sale during whatnot shows or things that I am going to sell at upcoming whatnot shows. This is a fake tree that I got at an estate sale. And this bookshelf is kind of what you see in the background of my uh, reselling videos. And that's why I wanted to clean it up a bit. But this is where I house most of my planning supplies. I just have way too many sticker books. <laughs> These are more sticker books. Um, one year I won Teacher of the Year. So that is my Teacher of the Year award. Another fake plant from Target. And here I have like, um, I don't know, like basically like stickers you can use to plan out your week. It's really cool and very cool. Um, this is an award that I won from List Perfectly a few years ago. Um, just some more planner supplies and then more planner supplies. These are like old happy planners that I no longer use because they're from previous years. Why do I save them? I don't know. These are happy planner sticker books. These are all washi tape. And this is not even all of my washi tape. I have a whole nother thing of washi tape upstairs in my room because I have a problem. And then this is just like post-its and stuff. So this top is kind of like, I don't even know if you see this top in my YouTube videos. I feel like maybe some of it you do, but this little like floating, I don't know, poster thing. It says passionately smashing every expectation. It is a quote from Hamilton. A friend of mine actually made that for me, which was so sweet of her. Um, I got this cute little lion at an estate sale. I do think that there's a flaw in it, which is why I was like, I'll just keep it. But also I wanted it for myself and some more washi tape because like I said, we got problems and then kind of like in between all of my inventory and the wall that is where my dress form lives I don't use her very often I only use her for dresses that really 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 need it but that's where she lives so even though we spent a little bit of time cleaning together you can see this is still kind of a mess I feel like with reselling Yes, obviously it would make more sense to like take your time to create a super organized space and a space that you enjoy being in. And I think that you'll find you'll be much more productive that way. Like already just this desk being as clean as it is. Like I just want to sit here and do work all day after I wipe it down <laughs> with a Clorox wipe. But the reality is we just get to work. Like sometimes there just isn't the time or the energy to put into creating beautiful spaces for ourselves. We just have to get to work. Work. and that's how it felt when we moved into this house it was like go 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 um, maybe I put like a one or two day pause on shipping and things like that but I really was just trying to get back to normal as quickly as possible and getting things set up as quickly as possible um, so first of all I am super open to any suggestions that you may have because when you're so close to the project or you're so close to the space it's really hard to think through what can I do to improve the space as it is but if you guys have any suggestions Oh my goodness, please leave them down in the comments below. I would love to hear them. But secondly, this is a work in progress. I expect that this space will continue to evolve and change over the course of many years. Um, I'll find, you know, new ways. To I thought I saw like a huge spider on the wall. Let me show you. I thought that that right there was a huge spider, like a huge spider but it's not it is literally just cracks in the wall maybe look there's like another one right there so but yeah if you want to see how this space continues to evolve i guess you're just gonna have to subscribe to my channel and that way you'll continue to see what comes of this place what new ideas i have for it the different things that i do in here um, i'm really again just so thankful to have this space to call my own to get my reselling business outside of my family space because the kids did not enjoy trying to hang out in our living room oh my gosh i didn't even tell you about the living room like trying to hang out in the living room but there were like 20 boxes of stuff in there from when I did a reseller buyout and there was nowhere else for it to go um, also like in my old house the reselling space was in our kids like playroom and so basically it was my space like they didn't really have anywhere to play because my stuff took over the whole area so it's just such a blessing to have the space that no one else would want to use but I can use it for this purpose and I just feel so lucky and so blessed so I just wanted to share a little bit of my reselling life Life with you by showing you the space where I do a lot of my reselling work but you know it is a basement there are no windows I try to limit the amount of time that I spend in here so I'm not doing things like listing or editing or anything like that I'm really only in here to take pictures and to ship and other than that I try not to hang out in this space because I want to be near a 
window. I want to be with my family. I don't want to just like shut myself off and be isolated. So um, while it is important that it's like a nice space, it's not a space that I spend the majority of my hours in. So it's okay if it gets a little messy as you saw, but already thanks to you, we were able to clean up this area, make it a little bit more livable. And I thank you for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this kind of video, it's a little bit different from what I typically do. But if you enjoyed it, let me know by liking it and I will try to make more videos like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!